I don't care what anybody says, this week is personal. A story as old as time, the student becomes the master. We saw it with Plato and Socrates. We saw it in Star Wars. Heck, we see it in our everyday lives. For example, a good friend of mine, his name is Clark, and he was the FIFA master. This kid taught me everything that I know about FIFA. And in return, I was able to beat the living piss out of all of my friends in FIFA. But the one guy I couldn't beat was him. And then finally, after months and months and months of getting my ass whipped, I finally beat him. And I can assure you that that win felt better than all the other ass whippings that I've given out. Just like when you beat your older brother in basketball or you beat your dad in whatever the hell you guys did growing up, that one feels different. And that is exactly what we have this Sunday with Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan. So they might sit here and play it down and act like it's not a big deal. Both of them are human. Both of them know how important this game is deep down inside. Don't tell me that Mike McDaniel, the guy who was under his wing for 15 years and traveled with him to five different teams, doesn't think that this game is just a little, a little bit more important to him, and internally at least. Obviously, obviously he's not going to say that to the team. He's not going to say that publicly. But just in human nature alone, let's not be dumb here. We all know that this game means a little bit more to Mike McDaniel. And it's not just Mike McDaniel. The Miami Dolphins have an insane amount of people, not just players, but people in coaching positions that came from San Francisco. So this game is personal for a lot of guys outside of Mike McDaniel. Check this out. Former... 49ers in the Miami Dolphins organization. Mike McDaniel, John Embry, Wes Walker, Aldrich Robinson, Mike Person, Jeff Wilson Jr., Raheem Mostert, Savan Ahmed, Trent Sherfield, and River Craycraft. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of dudes. And if you think for one second that this game is not personal, you are lying to yourself. Even Debo's out here talking crap about Raheem Mostert. This is what Debo had to say about Raheem. Raheem, be real with yourself. And then Charles Umanihu, I can't say his last name. I don't care to learn it either. Someone thinking they're going to run crazy on our defense is funny. And that was in response to Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson saying they're going to go crazy on Sunday. So don't act like this game wasn't personal. Jeff Wilson was just playing for the 49ers not even three weeks ago. And they shipped him off the second they traded for Christian McCaffrey. You don't think that's going to be a little bit personal for him? You don't think that the 49ers and how they handled Raheem Mostert's injury, you don't think that's going to be a little personal for Raheem? Or Wes Walker, who was was over there last year on Kyle Shanahan's coaching staff? You don't think it's going to be a little personal for all those guys? Trent Sherfield? who's he's been a huge part of this Miami Dolphins offense this year. He was like a wide receiver five there. You don't think it's going to be a little bit more personal for him? This game is as personal as it gets. This is like that family Thanksgiving football game where you got your brothers, they got their brothers, and you guys are going to line up, and whoever wins this game is going to have bragging rights until next year's holiday. This game is personal. Do not lie to yourself. Do not let them play it down. This game is personal. And to be honest with you, and I'm not even being biased here, I think the Miami Dolphins have a huge advantage. What did I just read? Six to seven guys that just came from the San Francisco 49ers organization. Some of them came here a couple weeks ago. 
You don't think they have the inside scoop on everything that they do in that building? Hell, Jeff Wilson probably knows that offense inside and out. Actually, he does know it because at one point he was their starting running back. I am telling you, the Miami Dolphins have the upper hand in this matchup, at least behind enemy lines. We have too many guys that have came from that organization not too long ago. And I'm telling you right now, with the brain that Mike McDaniel has, it would not surprise me one bit if he beats his former master. That's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 5K subs, and the only way we could do that is with your guys' support. And if you like our hour-long content, come back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time zone for our San Francisco 49ers Miami Dolphins preview. Fins up.